at me like you are looking at me now like I am evil um, my name is Kemiondo Fatino I'm Ugandan but I grew up in Swaziland and I did my primary and secondary education in Swaziland which is small one of the last monarchies still standing in Africa and I got a scholarship to go to Lewis and Clark in Portland, Oregon and then I auditioned to get into the school that I'm in right now which is ACT, the American Conservatory Theatre which has made me love school all over again. <laughs> so I started writing me again. I wanted to really perform in a one-woman show because I was really interested in what it is to change characters in front of people and I thought when I watched it on stage that that was the most magical thing about theatre is to see one actor transform herself into five characters before you. Mommy, it's not fair that they don't want me to play with no shirt. It's hot, mommy! Tomorrow I'm going to play with no shirt and no pants. So I really wanted to do a one-woman show about African women. So I looked and I looked and I looked and I couldn't find a single show about African women. And I was rather shocked because prior to this I had no idea that no one wrote for the African woman. So because I was so determined to do this, I was like, okay, you know what? I'll write a show. Kabuna, you're it! <laughs> So I wrote Kawuna, You're It, which is a game in Uganda mm, closest to tag, um, where someone touches someone and someone touches someone. And I thought that that was a good metaphor for HIV and AIDS because clearly when you touch someone and someone touches you um, with the virus, and that's kind of how it spreads. I've started a festival. What I'm hoping to do with this festival is to bridge my passion towards social change and arts all together and let one feed the other. So with this festival, what I'm planning on doing is to have a yearly theme, a yearly social theme. So this year is HIV AIDS, no statistics allowed. And what that means is I personally am tired of hearing judgments, I'm tired of hearing numbers, I'm tired of hearing people preach about HIV. I'm more interested in the stories behind HIV. I'm more interested in art addressing HIV because I don't think that people are utilizing art to its full potential to change a society. So I have an art exhibition, fashion night out, poetry and theater. And I'm hoping every year it will grow and have some music as well. So what I realized is um, instead of trying to get like one main sponsor for a whole thing, if you get small people and people who believe in you and know what you can do, then it's easier for it to come to life. And that's what's happened this year. So my hope, hope, hope is for people to see the quality that Nouveau is bringing and also the issues that we're addressing through art. Next year, if I get funding, I'm going to, the, the festival theme will be Sheroes, which is to highlight female heroes within Uganda.